What's up guys? Welcome back to another video with DNS gang or squad, whatever you want to call us. Today we are doing another video. As you can tell with Popeyes in the best. If you guys don't have Dutch Bros, I don't know what you're missing because this stuff is good. I have the black tea, peach and mango just in case you guys were asking. What do you have? I have the OG gummy. And I have the same as her. <laughs> and um, these are my little sisters. If you, if you guys have been watching me for a while on Live Me, that's right. I do do a live broadcast. So if you guys do watch me, then yeah, come show love. Thank you guys so much also for showing love on my first video, which was the Christmas party 2008, 2018 video. Wow, my head is like somewhere else. I'm kind of hungry too. But yeah, so I'm gonna ask them questions. They can ask me questions as well if they want to. But let's get into the food because I'm freaking hungry. I got some mashed potatoes, coleslaw, you know, Popeye's chicken, <laughs> uh, rice and beans, and you guys love these biscuits even though they dry your mouth out. Like, <coughs> like I need some water. All right, sipping on that tea. I'm just kidding, but here we go. <laughs> <laughs> so, what's up guys? How have you guys been? How's your winter been? Fun. <laughs> Good and fun. <laughs> they, they've uh, went to, what, what did you, oh, they went to the all nighter and I guess it went Skate hood skating. or something like that. Like there was a ghetto fight that happened skating. when they were skating. <laughs> While we were skating, it was after we were skating. Like there was, yeah, that was something. pretty funny. But. I do have some questions, so I looked up some questions online, like in their age, because the other ones I looked up, they're like, who you took to prom and stuff, I'm like, these girls are only in middle school, so, yeah, so introduce yourself, like, what do you guys want to say to the YouTube fam? Okay. My name is Maricela. And I'm Tiana. How old are you guys? I'm 12. I'm 14. <laughs> And as you all know, I am 24, yes. But there will be like another Q&A later on with Dwayne. Dwayne's not here right now. He's over playing video games, but you guys will see him in our next video. So yeah, let's jump into some questions, shall we? Yeah. What do you see yourself doing in five years or 10 years from now? Having my own bakery. Oh, mm. that sounds good, good to me. But I wanted to be a veterinarian, but I'd, I'm not sure if I still want to do that. I haven't put much thought to what I want to do, so, yeah. Mmm, crispy chicken. <laughs> what do you do when you feel bored? Listen to music. Run to Tiana's room. <laughs> Watch Netflix. Well, what I do when I'm bored, I usually go, go on, on social me. media. Yeah, I go on social media, true. So I usually go and broadcast and be active with you guys, tell you guys what's been going on, and or then I mess with them sometimes. But for the most part, I just listen to music and broadcast in Netflix and chill like regular people. <laughs> and also spend time with my son when he wants to because half the time he's like, no. But that's just him. <laughs> um, let's see. What do you enjoy doing for fun? Going on social media and watching Netflix. <laughs> um, drawing. Awesome. She draws actually really good. Maybe um, I'll do a YouTube video of her like drawing something. And my brother, they are awesome at drawing. It's really, really awesome. What's your dad? Oh yeah, and my dad too. Um. Okay, what really, what really makes you angry and why? Cause they, huh. they're some little feisty little tigers they would, and stuff like fighting. <laughs> what makes me angry? Her? Uh, we'll just be what my makes room. Me angry is my brothers. Oh, I'm them too. Mm -hmm. And her. What makes me angry? She comes to my room. She's always like, Tiana this, Tiana that. I'm like, get out of my room. If you know the Latinas, that's them. They're all feisty and stuff. Don't know how to act when they're angry. <laughs> Again, teenage girls though, because I was the same way, so can't really say anything. What, or do you have a favorite color? I have a lot of favorite colors. I'm gonna say one of my favorite colors. Red. 
Can I say all or just? Like... No, you can. Black, gray, white, blue, and red. Mine is red and black. Mine is red, blue, and purple. <laughs> She's like, wait, let me put all my colors out there. <laughs> okay, what do you think of bullying? Since this has been like a really deep topic so far, especially on social, social media, there's been like a lot of talk about bullying. I really don't know why. I, I mean, I, it's kind of messed up though. Like, I don't think people should be judging anyone. First of all, it's jacked up. And if you have nothing nice to say, don't say it. And also guys, there is a block button. So if someone's being mean to you, just block them, ignore them. Because you know what, you're doing something right if they're bullying you and they just want to be like you as well. But go ahead, back. <laughs> back to what they said. Okay, for well, bullies, when somebody, when you see somebody getting bullied, you should stick up for them. And um, and or tell an adult or somebody that's more capable of dealing with what's going on. And then you just be there for the person who's getting bullied. Or another way, you could just sock them in the face. Boom! That's knock what I them would out. Do. Just knock them, doom, doom, knock them out. <laughs> That's me. That's what I was gonna say. <laughs> I'm just Wait, kidding. I'm just the kidding. Bully? I'm just kidding. Bully the bully. <laughs> it's an old school way. Right. Uh, what are your thoughts on marriage? Not ready. <laughs> Obviously. <laughs> Um, my parents to me is that you gotta be there for your spouse and you have to be committed to each other. Marriage, I, I'm gonna just put an example out there. Um, it's just my parents because like I've never seen a marriage like so like interactive and like connective like my parents so yeah. So um, your mom and dad set the example of what marriage should be. Mm -hmm. Yes, and a lot of communication. If you don't have communication, there's nothing there. And if you don't trust that person, there's also anything, like nothing there for you. You actually have to, I, I would say, before you even start a marriage, to be friends first. <laughs> I mean, I've been married, um, uh, like, it was hard because there wasn't a lot of communication. So that's why, that's what really broke us. And we'll get more into detail in another video, but that's just some of my experience. But there will be in like another video, a more personal one, but that's just for now. <laughs> Who is your favorite teacher? Guys, they go to a military school because they're bad. So, yeah. What? I'm just kidding. <laughs> you mean at this school, who's my favorite teacher? Yeah. Uh, Miss Chizinski, because she lets me listen to music. Uh, Miss McKeever, Mr. Hook, and that's it. The other teachers hate me, so it's okay. Uh, <laughs> mine is Miss Flores. Oh, and Colonel Roberts. Colonel Roberts is my favorite. Okay, sorry. Carry on. <laughs> Miss Avant, um, Miss McKeever. And she just has a lot of teachers. She <laughs> Mr. Q, <laughs> Miss Peters, and yeah, that's all. Oh, and Mr. Ma uh, Master Gunner. Mm. Yeah. Do you know kids at your school that smoke? What do you think about that? <clears throat> Never smoke kids because it's bad. Yeah. It, makes it, it makes you old and That's ugly as thing. hell. And if you're cute, I'm sorry to tell you, if you smoke, you're going to look like ugly. But anyways, go ahead. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. I forgot I was a family <laughs> child at first. Sorry, I kind of looked. I kind of I kind of Hey, I'm just speaking the truth. I'm sorry. I kind of zoned out. I'm used to being on live me, so sorry. I guess they have nothing to say. I thought she was gonna go. Okay. So yes, I know kids at my school that smoke, but um, there's these two kids that they got expelled, and I think smoking is gross, and 
it's just a loser lifestyle, so yeah. It doesn't make you cool, especially vaping. That doesn't make you cool either. <laughs> I mean, it's their life choice, so. though. Yeah, that's it's your life, cool. but we're just saying. That's just our opinion, so if you get mad, then I'm sorry. It's just our opinions. So don't take anything we say to heart, guys. Do personal. Have kids or adults offer, offered you alcohol, cigarettes, or drugs before? No. How did you handle the situation? <laughs> no. No, I never got handed something because um, I would say no straight up. And plus, I don't hang out with people who do that stuff. Do you think people should be married to have sex? Yes. 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 I think because so because... There's a lot of people out there just get pregnant. Just thinking that okay. There's a lot of people out there that do sex like it's just like a piece of bubble gum when it's really not. It shouldn't be for everyone to have. No one should have a piece of your cake. But if you're married, it makes it special. You know what I mean? It makes it way more passionate, special because at the end of the day, do those people really care about you uh -uh. that you're Having sex with, I was about to say another word, but I'm just being honest. Like, there's some stuff that I want to say, but it, I'm trying so hard not to say because this is a family channel. But guys, really, just wait until you're married. It'll be way more special, and trust me, it's worth worth the wait. Don't let Summer. nobody in your cookie jar. Save the cookies for your husband. He gets the goodies, not <laughs> Every Tom, Dick, and Harry. <laughs> By the way, my mom and dad are on the sidelines. They didn't want to be in the video, really. But this is my dad. This is my mom. Hey, they're kind of matching too. Look, it's like the black squad. <laughs> hey. Monty Crumbs. Dutch Bros. What's this? Red Bull. Red Bull. Red Bull. It's a uh, lime and coconut. It's my favorite spawn. Try it out if you're here. But yeah, so they're just like chilling out with us while we do this video. We're do you have any pet peeves? Mm. Um, yes, when people grind their teeth. Ugh. Oh. Eric does that in his sleep. And when people when people do not chew with their mouth closed. Oh. Like when they're like, like oh stop. Chew with your mouth closed, y'all. My pet peeve is when someone doesn't put their clothes in the laundry basket. How hard is that? <laughs> it's not that hard. The basket can be like right by your side, like the side of your bed. Just, whoop. you can even like do it as a basketball hoop. Like, oh. And also like, I hate when people are like sleeping, right? And they just leave like the crumbs on the side of the floor. I'm like, go get a dustpan. What, how hard is that? My pet peeve is, when somebody holds the door for you and you just walk right past them and don't say thank you, I just want to snatch them up and say, you're welcome. So when somebody holds the door for you, you say thank you. Learn to have manners. I know mom's pet peeve. Please say thank you. That's Please mine. go a long way, okay? That's mine. Remember that. Young people, remember that. Cheers. You don't mid-squeeze toothpaste. <laughs> you push it all the way up and continue doing that until it's done. Never mid-squeeze toothpaste. That's so annoying. <laughs> also, I, like, there's so many, like, I think you just do a video on, like, pet peeves, really. Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. there's so many. <laughs> but, oh, I hate when people leave cabinets open, too. Like, how hard is it to <laughs> open, get what you need, and close the cabinet? <laughs> Sonny just hates my husband. <laughs> I also hate when people don't use blinkers because I drive on the road and don't use blinkers. That really pisses me off. I told you, there's a lot. I'll give you the mile high salute. I can't do it because it's a family show, but you know what I mean. You're number one. But, oh yeah, but a big one is the respect. I think young people should learn how to have respect for older people. Because nowadays, man, you see a lot of people that are so disrespectful for no reason. And it's 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 kind of sad. Like, I mean, you shouldn't have been taught from a young age, but like people would respect you more if you had respect. And there's so many people that want to be older nowadays. Man, I used to love my childhood playing hide, hide and seek, like all those like childhood memories like this. 
old school cartoons. I always rep this, so yeah. But I don't know. Kids just don't want to be kids nowadays. And it's all because of this. This is what messed you guys up. Because really, we never really had this. And if we did, it was only for like 10 minutes. And then your mom would be on the phone. Hey, get off the phone. <laughs> like with your friend on there, you'd be like, man, I gotta get off the phone. It's embarrassing. <laughs> but I don't know. That's just my opinion on that. I, but, saw, I saw this kid. Because there were these two, there was these three boy teenagers, and there was an old lady crossing the road, and she was like really old. She had a walker, and then they helped her cross the road. I thought that was really see. Cool. That's that's awesome. Like I like seeing stuff like that. And right here, this is my dad, guys. You have seen him before on my live me, but he will start a channel with cooking. So yeah, Look like for it. Don't forget to oh, like the it. videos as well. Show bad love. Okay. On to the next question. <laughs> Do you think it's important to speak and understand other languages? Is there a language you want to learn? I suggest if you're going to move to another country where they do not understand English, then you should learn their language. Just like we expect people from other countries to come to America and learn English. English. It's only right and it makes sense. That's my view on learning another language. But I am bilingual, not very good. I speak Spanglish, <laughs> but yes, I think it's good to know another language because you do get a better chance of getting a job when you're bilingual. So it's good to learn another language, but if you're gonna move somewhere, you better know something and start learning quick to be able to communicate. That's just my <clears throat> And also, I, I really kind of hate when people assume that you know another language because of your race. 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 And I shouldn't say hate, but I dislike it. Because like, especially on Live Me, I get people that like automatically type in Spanish and I'm just like, oh, I'm sorry, like I was born in America. So I never knew that other language. I might look like it, but I don't know it. And so I don't think people should automatically assume that you know another language just because of your nationality if that makes sense but comment down below and tell me what you think like your opinion on this whole conversation Mari, tiana would you choose a different name if you could yes. no <laughs> before we got adopted uh, my sister's name was isela and my mom liked the name Isela. So my mom put uh, Mar, Mar in front of my name. And then it became Maricela. But most people spell their names uh, Maricela. is M-A-R-S-E-L-A. Or they use two L's. But my name is spelled M-A-R-I-S-E-L-A. And that's why I like my name. Because <coughs> it has meaning to it. I would not change my name because it was given to me for a reason. I don't know what the reason is, but it was probably given to me for a reason. And I know especially my middle name is given to me for a reason. So. Um, <coughs> my middle name is Miracle because when I was born... I could have died, but I didn't, and I was a miracle that I stayed alive, if that makes sense. How'd you almost die? When I was in my birth mom's stomach, she did a, she was a drug addict and an alcoholic, so that's why I almost died. In my opinion, I believe names hold a lot of culture and they carry on generational because a lot of names that are given are named after family members or aunts or uncles or grandmas and so what happens is you give your child that name and then your child gives their child and it just becomes a generational name so if your child's given a name it's the first gift you actually give your child is their name besides giving them life and all right guys well the camera died as you can probably see well no you can't but anyways guys don't forget to like it up 
thumbs it up and subscribe as well please 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 thank you guys so much for supporting dns squad and we will be back with another video bye